Shabbat Shalom. I hope that this video, pre-Shabbos video, finds you and everyone that is your, in your home healthy and, and safe. From the time that we became acquainted with Avraham Avinu, with Abraham, back in the Parsha of Lech Lecha, which we read a couple of weeks ago, the Torah characterizes him as a, as a fighter, someone who stands up for other people. He's also a messenger of God's will, someone who's on a mission to change the world, both for himself as well as for his descendants. In this week's Sedra, we find Abraham in the tender role of husband, mourning his wife, Sarah. In the Parsha of Chaye Sarah, the Torah doesn't tell us how it is that Sarah dies at the age of 127. Rather, the Parsha opens with, her, with Abraham mourning her passing and making preparations for her burial. In fact, the description of Abraham's mourning takes up no more than five words, as it says in the Parsha. And Sarah died in Kiryat Arba, now Chevron, in the land of Canaan. V'yavo Avraham lispod l'sarav livkota. And Abraham proceeded to mourn and for Sarah and bewail her. The rest of the story surrounding Sarah's death is taken up with Abraham's negotiations with the king of the Hittites in procuring a burial place that will be known until this day as Marat HaMach the Cave of the Patriarchs. It doesn't seem like enough time is devoted to grieving the mother of the Jewish people, but the Torah reinforces a core value of Judaism, that is, that life is for the living. Eulogies given at the time of death are merely a snapshot of the person, that, that which comes to mind in, in the moment, it's both the enduring memories of the person that live on in our hearts, as well as the way in which we live our lives as a reflection of their values that serve as the ultimate tribute to the person. Many people are aware that the prayer most often associated with death, the Kaddish, does not actually mention anything about death. If anything, it affirms life and the hopes for peace. You say at the end of the Kaddish, Ose shalom bim ramav hu ya, say shalom aleinu v'yal ko Yisrael. God should make peace on us and on all of Israel. But it's the very first words of the Kaddish that bring the greatest comfort to mourners. Yit gadal v'yit gadash me rabah. May God's name be magnified and sanctified. The mourner prays for God's presence to expand, filling the void that any, any of us feels when someone close to us dies. We invite God in, as it were, to illuminate the darkness and heal our pain, even when the world seems to be closing in around us. We internalize, as it were, God's deep love for us. We commit to living a life that brings honor to our loved ones, and then we move on with our lives, as Abraham does, preparing for Sarah's burial, seeking out a wife for his son Isaac, and then coming to a final rest himself at the end of our Parsha. The sages commenting on the way in which the Torah shares Sarah's age at the time of her death, 100 years and 20 years and seven years. The sages explained that every, phrase, every phase of Sarah's life was suffused with meaning and with blessings. Life is filled with sadness and mourning, but Judaism urges us to extract the essential life lessons to extract those blessings of life and allow those to live on in us as an everlasting legacy to the people we love. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom, a wonderful and peaceful and healthy Shabbat.